Hello subscribers. Today we're going to Laughlin, Nevada to document the great gambling casinos along the Colorado River bordering Nevada, Arizona, and California at the southern tip of Nevada. The southern tip of Nevada was called South Point in the 1940s and consisted of a bar and a motel catering to gold and silver miners along with construction workers who built the Davis Dam. When the dam was completed, the motel fell into disrepair, and in 1964, Don Laughlin purchased the property. He retained, renamed the motel the Riverside and was offering an all-you-can-eat chicken dinner for 98 cents, and you could play on 12 different slot machines, and guests could stay in four of the motel rooms. In the 1970s, the Riverside added 48 more rooms and Bullhead City across the river was flourishing in the glow of the casino lights offering shuttle boats to the three casinos. In the 1980s, many more casinos came into Laughlin, and today there are over 10,000 rooms, 175,000 square feet of meeting space. There are 14,000 casino workers serving nearly 2 million visitors annually. There are almost 7,400 slot machines, 174 table games, all divided among 10 casinos. The most southern casino is an Indian-owned casino called the Avi. It is a couple of miles south of Laughlin and on the Indian Reservation. It is a nice beach and pool area, an event center, and reasonably priced rooms. Driving north from the Avi, we cross the desert area and enter the town of Laughlin, which is separate from the casinos on the river. As we approach the casinos, you can see them silhouetting the horizon. Starting at the southern end of the casino drive, we first see Harris, which is probably the high-end casino in Laughlin. It supports, supports a nice beach area with both smoking and non-smoking casinos. You can tell by the photographs how wonderful of a uh, resort and uh, getaway this place is. They have just about everything you would ask for. The next casino is the Laughlin River Lodge. This used to be called the Royal Palms, but it was repurposed last year and is now called the River Lodge. It has some uh, downstairs, non-smoking, uh, big uh, uh, meeting area. The next casino is the Golden Nugget. I guess you can also consider it this to be a high-end casino. There are some wonderful restaurants in the Golden Nugget, and this is one place you want to come if you want the best food in Laughlin. They have all the table games and slots machines one can ask for all in one place, all overlooking the Colorado River. And you can see they have lots of parking. Next is one of my favorites, the Pioneer. It may be the oldest, one of the oldest casinos in Laughlin and features reasonably priced restaurants and reasonably priced rooms and good table games and slot machines. I love the old, old time decor. Next is the Colorado Bell, which is probably the flagship of Laughlin with its riverboat decor. The Colorado Bell is primarily a gaming facility with the Edgewater next door used for lodging. The Edgewater also has a casino and the combination of the two uh, is a very large footprint in the Laughlin area with lots of outdoor parking lots. Across the street from the Colorado Bell is the Tropicana. This may be the newest casino in Laughlin and it was originally built as a Ramada Inn and Casino. It has a wonderful train station decor with all the gaming and uh, th th that you could ask for. Sandwiched in between the Edgewater and the Aquarius is the Regency, which is the smallest casino and one of the oldest in Laughlin. They are noted for having a really good prime rib dinner and they used to feature $1 table games, but that is now history. The Aquarius is the newcomer in Laughlin. 
This building was originally built as the Tropicana, but the Tropicana was sold and is now called the Aquarius. My niece, Jessica, is one of the managers at the Aquarius, but I have not been there since it's been renamed. You can see from the aerial photographs how big a property this Aquarius Casino Resort Lodge, everything, <laughs> everything you want to call it, really a monster place. And, Jessica's really got her hands full. She's working 90 hours a week. At the north end of the Casino Drive is the Riverside where Don Laughlin started it all. The Riverside by default is probably the largest footprints in Laughlin with a large RV park, a bowling alley, an antique car exhibit, movie theaters, and live entertainment. Probably the only drawback to this casino is the low ceilings allow for too much cigarette smoke. But the Riverside has opened a non-smoking casino adjacent to the regular casino. The Riverside has river boats that ferry people up and down the river and across the river to off-site parking in Arizona. Just about everything you could ask for is available at the Riverside Resort and Casino. Now I'll take you across the river and show you Laughlin from Bullhead City in Arizona. Okay, as we drive down the Arizona side of the uh, river, first of all, we see the riverside. And we're going to see the Aquarius. And sandwiched in between the Aquarius and the Edgewater is a little one called the Regency, which you can hardly see. So then you've got the Edgewater. And to the left of that, which is part of it, is the Colorado Bell, which is the flagship of the river. And off across the street there, you're coming into view as you'll see the Tropicana, which used to be called the Ramada. And to the left of the Colorado Bell is the uh, Pioneer. Can't quite see it with all the brush. And coming up on the left, we should be the uh, the Golden Nugget with its big parking garage. And next in line will be the River Lodge. And the last one is Harris. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button down below. And then after that, uh, if you want to see the future videos, hit the subscribe button. And you know to be notified by my next video.